Hey guys and welcome back to Pizza Surferoo. We're at a big night here at Movie World. It's all going off. We've got all our expensive cars in the background uh, rocking up for it. It's only early hours yet, but the event is going to be a big one tonight. Viewers, stay tuned for our big red carpet. It is going off. Back with some more surely. Pizza Surferoo. See ya. Whoa. Hey dudes, we're here at Stage 1 International Film Festival going off here at Movie World. I'm on the red carpet. It's not happening yet, it's just being put down at the moment. Check out what's behind me, these great cars. And of course the sets are going up too. We're going to take you through the whole way of the night. Meet celebs, heaps more. We're going to meet the actual organiser of the event to tell us more about it. Guys, red carpet, I'm walking it. It's going off. Peter Surfer all the way. Yeah. Woo! Guys, we're here with Brooke Nicole Lee. Hello, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Very excited. Looking great. I love this outfit. Thanks. Red really suits you. Yes, it's Tina Holly, fantastic designer from Sydney, so a local designer. And you're also helping organise this whole event. Yes, I'm the festival advisor. I've been here from uh, day dot trying to put on this fantastic event, so I'm really looking forward to it. Can you just um, inform our viewers of what is going on here tonight in a little lump? Right, so the Stage 1 International Film Festival is all about collaboration, so bringing together the music, the fashion, and of course the film industry in a really creative and unique way. We just really want to support local filmmakers. That is really good to see out there. We haven't got enough of that, <laughs> and uh, to see up-and-coming talent great stuff. Now, um, you're ventured off to Sydney for yeah. bigger and better things. So I've just moved to Sydney for my acting career, so on top of doing this, I also do acting. I just finished on uh, my third season of Mako Mermaids as Carly, so I was like one of the friends that go to school and I run the cafe. But Getting in the water with those tails, is it very hard to swim? But I got to see them do it and it I, I didn't envy them because it definitely was hard for them in the cold water as well, might I add. Because yeah. we follow the whales and uh, the Sea Shepherd and, and we've done a lot of stuff with Daryl Hannah as well. Yes. Oh, yeah. And it's good to see movie actresses yep. getting behind stuff and supporting it. I, I definitely agree. And a good cause like that, and especially in somewhere like Australia, it's fantastic. Now, do you see yourself going over to America, of course, or England for the big one? Well, I'm an American citizen, so Ooh. yes, uh, I'm just doing a little bit, little bit of a stint in Sydney before I uh, make my move back to LA, I guess, see my family. Well, I won't hold you up. It's a very busy night here. <laughs> Good luck with everything, and I hope it goes well in America for you. Thank you so much, and I hope you have an incredible night. No worries. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Woo! I'm on the red carpet at the moment. Not totally red yet, but I mean, it's getting set up for it. Going to be a big night tonight, guys. Got the cars here, all the workers ready to go. Stick with us, guys. It is going off. Peep the surfer -oo. Yeah. Guys, we're back with Karen here, the PR advisor for the festival. Going off. Hello, how are you? Very good. And yourself? Great. And red is really in tonight. That's it. It's the fashion trend for tonight. Now, Karen, can you tell us a bit about the meaning of this festival? Absolutely. The festival is on its second annual GIA gala event. We are bringing all the best and also the emerging designers, emerging musicians and cinematographers to establish a platform suitable for all Queenslanders and as well Australians. Also, I want to point out that Australians um, are a big hit in US. Therefore, um, we have been leading as well so many different categories. We have Nicole Kidman. Who else do we have? Naomi Watts and new emerging. Yeah, it's, it's great so, stuff. Yeah, fantastic. Now, I can tell by the accent, let me guess, is Brazilian? Colombia. Colombia. <laughs> Very good dancers over there. That's why she's got that nice smile, happy all the time, and helping out, and a great event here. Listen, we'll let you get back into the event because it's a lot of stuff for you to do to supervise here, and good luck with it. Thank you so much, and hope you enjoy the night. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Woo! Guys, we're back again with Buddy. How you going, mate? And Emily, hello, how are you? Good, thank you. And yourself? Not too bad. Now, we've got a bit of a celeb here on the red carpet, dressed for it. Got his Schmick glasses on, just arrived in a Porsche, and it's going off now. Now, our little doggy here is um, a little bit sick. Yeah, he unfortunately, he's got lymphoma, so he's only got a couple of weeks left to live. However, we've got the Buddy's bucket list going, and he's powering on through it. And he's got a big feed coming up too, a uh, nice, nice feed, nice oh, turkey yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh yes, he's, he's been eating everything he ever dreamed of. He had steak this morning, 
He's living the dream. Getting spoiled. Guys, we're here on the red carpet again, and I've just uh, run into the man himself, Mr. Peter Turner, mate. How are you? How are you? Fine, Pete. How are you? Haven't seen you for a while, mate. No, no. No, we've <laughs> about an hour or so. <laughs> now, mate, the camera behind the camera, behind the movie. Mate, new movie out. Tell us about it. Well, 72 hours is on the run now. We've got another one. I'm doing a documentary on uh, on Saudi Arabia as well. That's coming out at the end of the year. Now that's going to be a real expose. Eh? Mate, sounds good. Now, a lot of production happening here on the Gold Coast, and it's good to see local talent getting behind there and making some movies. Now, uh, with this movie, how long is it going to take, and uh, when are we looking at starting production? The new one, well, 72 hours have been going for two and a half years already. It's still going to go for another couple of years, I think, before we get it up and running. But the other one, the, the documentary, I turned out a documentary in about three or four months. I have to get it out. I want to get it out before the, the, uh, the upcoming elections in the USA because the Americans really need to know what's going on in Saudi Arabia and why it's such a bad place to be. Mate, sounds good. Uh, we've got a lot of other people out there to interview. Good luck with your movie, Mr. Peter Turner, the man behind the camera, behind the camera, behind the camera. Good luck to you, mate. I'll shake your hand. Guys, we're here with another famous actor here. They call him the Spider-Man. How are you, mate? Very well, thank you. Now, why do they call you Spider? Um, because I'm covered in spider tattoos everywhere. Well, wow. very tarantulally. Now, mate, uh, some of the movies you've done. Um, Rise, um, uh, Charlie's Farm, um, uh, nearly got on Pirates of the Caribbean, wow. nearly. <laughs> Mate, good, good stuff, good to see local talent from the Gold Coast getting in there and uh, doing some acting and of course maybe, you know, who knows, America up soon. For the great time here, the fireworks are going off, here Pete the Sofaru at the red carpet, yeah! We've got Julia here from the Snake Sheila and the snake is really getting over to my side here, getting a bit chilled here, how are you? I'm good thank you, how are you? Good. Now, does a snake go everywhere you go? No, of course not. <laughs> so why do they call you the Snake Sheila? Uh, is it because this is your stint or you do this in the movies or yeah, you're I've, a pet I've trainer? i a TV show on Animal Planet called Snake Sheila. In Australia, it's called Snake Boss. Oh, but cool. Over, everywhere else, 170 countries in the world, it's called Snake Sheila. Wow, that is amazing. Now, snakes, of course, your speciality or do you do handle other animals as well? No, snakes. Snakes, snakes yeah. Wow. And uh, oh wow. What sort of snake is this? This is a black and gold jungle python. Cool. He's really he's really checking me out, eh? They don't bite, do they? No. He won't, no. I've just watched him with the fireworks, but he he, he should be alright. Cool stuff. Listen, I won't take too much of your time. Have a great night. These Thank fireworks you. are going off. Wow, that is super, super cool. Wow. Woo. Guys, we're here with Di and Courtney. That's right. How are you going, guys? Pretty good tonight. You doing well? Yeah, awesome. It is going off here on the red carpet. Fireworks. Hot, hot models here as well. Very, very. We're bringing the heat. Bringing the heat. Just like these things up here as well. Now, tell me, is a lot of model work happening here on the Gold Coast at the moment? Um, yeah, there's heaps. There's heaps going on at the moment. More heaps of more. photographies, heaps of runways at the moment. We're trying to uh, get more up in Queensland because it's such a dry, dry state for this and all this Bring arts them. and entertainment. So it's, this, this event's great for it as well. Now, do a lot of models transition over to acting as well? Yes, so it's many, easy, yeah. so many. You look at Cara Develine at the moment, who's just finished Paper Towns and all those other films and all that stuff. Like, she's a beautiful model and she's just wanting to film and she's just blossoming from there. Now, you guys are looking at um, acting at all? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I just finished um, the three-year course at NIDA. So, wow. yeah, I'm, cool. I'm excited just to get out there, put my name out there. But modeling is just a side thing that's just been so great for me. Yeah. Now, to be a model, is like you guys are super tall. Yes. Is, is that a, a handy thing to have for a model? Definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. But, but there's no stopping anyone who, no, who, who, no. Who's, who's short, who wants to be a model. Go right out there, though, looking at new people every day. Yeah. And of course, what, what, what sort of age are we looking at? Because I know a lot of people start off very young. Did you guys start very young modelling? Yeah. Definitely. I started at 16. I started at 14. 14, wow. wow. there you go. Way to go. Aussie, Aussie all the way. Guys, have a great night here tonight. Peter Surferu, all the way. Thank yeah. You. yeah. Woo. Guys, welcome back. We're with Pete. Pete and Mark. Mark, how you going, mate? Good, mate. It's it's, it's finally it's it's so Mark, great to be interviewed by Strop. <laughs> now, mate, Hello. acting you've done that quite a while, mate. Um, Far too it, long, some people say. Are you living on the Gold Coast now? Uh, no, I'm in Sydney. I'm visiting as I love to do, and uh, I used to come up here surfing all the time. Uh, but now I'm coming up promoting this uh, international film festival, and it's all good. Now, mate, you've done quite a lot of cop shows. Yeah, I, I played every service. I've done firemen, ambulance guys, a lot of cops, a lot of bad guys. Yeah, done them all. Mate, um, 
just something for uh, those budding actors out there just growing up and wanting to get into the industry. Hard, easy, what is it? It's very hard and get a day job, get a trade, get something that's going to back you up because there's a lot of times when you're out of work. Yeah. Now mate, going to NIDA colleges, good or is it better just to get in there and do it? It depends on the individual. I didn't, my, I, I'm not an institution guy so I learned on the job. I learned by doing it and making sure that it was real, that my acting was uh, honest and um, if, you're not, if you don't then do something else. Mate, uh, like feature movies into that? Absolutely, I've done um, 30 odd films and wow. about 100 and something TV shows so uh, I've, I've got a good, good strong CV that I'm happy with. Mate, you've done well. Um, when I did the Asia Pacific Awards I was talk had a big chat with Jack Thompson and yeah, uh, yeah. Legend, mate, legend. yeah, done heaps of stuff mate and he's also branched out and done movies as well. It's a way to go nowadays. Theatre of course too. Yeah, a lot of theatre. I'm, I'm working on a project at the moment but, uh, for the Sydney Theatre Company that's gearing up so you've got to do it all. You can't just specialise in one area. Yeah. Mate, sounds good. Busy night here mate. I wish you all the best in the upcoming movies and, and uh, all that stuff mate. Have a good one Peter Surferu. Over to your buddy over here mate. How are you mate? Pete. Pete. Tell us a bit about yourself, mate. Oh, well, it's good to be here with uh, Peter and you and everyone else and I love the tie. And I'm here with uh, my family, Emily Hembro. Cool. Running it, Lucio, hey, guys. Peter, how are you, sir? How are you going? How are you going? Good, good. Oh, and I'm it's a big family, and, um, mate. It is. We're an yeah. extended family. We all have blonde hair, but we sort of get dark hair as well. And you know, we're all into the producing side, acting side. What are we into? Uh, I'm the festival producer. Children's and obviously, family. this is Mark Hambra. He does not need... An introduction. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mother about that. Anyway, cheers. Nice hey, to he's got a good nice voice to too. You, yeah, yeah. Pete. he's got it's a good Pete voice too. Have cheers. a good night, mate. Thank you. Emily, come in. Emily, hello. hello. Emily, Hembro. Emily, hello. Emily, come over here. Hi. Okay. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. And um, your speciality, acting? Yes, acting, designing, singing, dancing, the lot. Wow, you do everything. Take after my father, of course. Yes. yes. And you're based here on the coast? I'm based in Sydney. In Sydney, yeah. wow. Now, uh, I suppose you've got a lot of Instagram followers. Just 100,000. Oh! Not many. <laughs> That's not much. Not many, as much as my sister. One, I think it's 1.5 million. You're kidding. What does your sister do? She's an actress too? She does acting and she's also a fitness model. So. Wow, way to, way to go. Now this is the new style, new age of becoming popular out there in the media world. Yeah, definitely. Instagram is definitely kicked off as a marketing tool. Yes. I think it's the, you know, the thing that's happening right now. Do you think it's better than Facebook and YouTube? Yes. I'm so over Facebook. I'm so over YouTube. Instagram is where it's at. Wow. Well, listen, you have a great, great, great night here with all your family here. It's going to be a big one. Red carpet, Peter Surferu. Nice meeting you. Yeah. <laughs> Dudes, we're back at the red carpet. We've got Mario Nudgy. How are you, sir? Yeah, Pleasure. good, mate. Yeah, it's thank, all happening. Thank you for coming. No, oh, thanks really a lot, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy mate. you dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> I didn't know clogs were on the red carpet list. <laughs> I was actually going to wear my budgie smugglers because I sort of figured you could save me should something ever go wrong. Mate, that's what I'm mate, here well, for. That, that's a million dollar smile, so thank you. How's mate, it all going? Oh, it's going well, mate. Are you thanks. having a good time? Oh, thanks to you, mate. Thanks to you. Lots of things happening here tonight, mate. It is a team effort, sir. It is a team effort. Mate, just tell us a bit about what we're we're expecting to see here tonight. Tonight, a lot of glitz and glamour on the red carpet. We've got a half a kilometre of red carpet. We've got over 20 supercars. I think the cheapest one's about 80 grand. That's not too bad. The most shabby is about 350. So we've got uh, fireworks, which obviously you've seen, because I could not hear for at least a minute after all that <laughs> happened. My wife stopped me and said, please take a selfie. Guys, obviously we've got, uh, you know, the, the, the celebrities, the celebrities. You've got Bruno Lucia, Mark Hambro just behind you there. Uh, George Clooney couldn't make it this time, but he does go, look, whoops, next yeah. year. George is great, love an espresso. So, uh, look, next year is going to be bigger and better. Thank Good you. Good one, mate. You have a big Thank one. You, sir. you too. Appreciate it. Yep, no worries. Yeah. Nice. We've got Mark here. How are you, mate? Good, mate. And we've got Bruno Lucia. How are you? Hi, great. Thank you. Now, let's go over to Mr. Mark here. Back in the days of Snowy River, mate. Oh, first yeah, first well, big one? Oh, no, I've done a few things around that time. And it's back there, yeah. Anzac, Snowy too. Wow. But horses, people, places, very good. You yeah. know, until all the people in Melbourne from the comedy club and everyone came up started sending everybody up and you know that's why Bruno <laughs> kept us all going. You know, we, we started riding horses backwards to try and impress them, you know, but we didn't we, we've done our best. Mate, I love the voice. Ever been in radio as well? No, 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 no. no I no, listen no. to it sometimes. I yeah, you know. Just sometimes. Yeah. In front of the screen, mate. Any big projects coming up? Oh yeah, got a couple of things on yeah. the go. Movies, uh, film, oh, TV? Yeah. yeah, a couple of films that I'm involved in, one I've written doing some rock and roll and singing a bit and writing yeah. at the moment. We've got the lady from Atlantis Records here tonight. 
Oh, that's good. I haven't been to Atlantis, but I heard it's sort of nice down there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell, us, tell us a bit about your lifestyle now. Acting behind the screen. What oh, are we looking? Italian with a shaved head. It looks like neo Nazi. That's right. Actor, <laughs> comedian, musician, and oxy welder. Wow. And so uh, of course, most people know me from the uh, All Together Now Hey Hate Saturday. But Mate, uh, what's it like working on set with Mr. Daryl Summers? Yeah, fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Dicky Knee was a bit yeah. hard to work with, but. Uh... <laughs> Now, Wilbur Wilde's a bit of a character. He's a great character, a great guy, and a great musician. We've, uh, yes. Now, mate, I, back in my younger days, I was on the show once. Right. Yes. Red I, faces. Yeah, um, I was carrying, uh, doing a show down there. I was travelling around the world with a mechanical surfboard. I invented that, and they'd put Brilliant. a big... Big uh, blue screen, never been done before, and they did that down there for me. It was really good. And my act before that was Mr. Johnny Farnham. Fabulous. Yes. So, mate, you've worked with the best. Yeah, worked with the best. Now, mate, uh, any big films coming up for you in I the comedy I, scene? Or? I have. I've got a couple of comedy docos that I'm working on at the moment, you know, comedy documentaries, and, yes. uh, you, know, uh, I, I, you know, I still do my stand-up as well. But, Good to uh, see you, mate. Thank all, you, sir. All the best. Great to be here. All right. Pleasure. Next Bye-bye. time. Yeah. Guys, we're here with Ryan and Candice. Guys, how are you? Great. Very well. Yeah, how are you? A- Awesome good, night. good, very good. Very excited, very excited. Now we've got different personalities walking the red carpet. Now we've got agents and agentees, should I say. So you uh, get work from this guy. Yes. Doing modelling, acting, t- acting, yes. All that sort of thing, yeah. Movies that you've done. San Andreas and sure. Fear of Darkness. Yes. I was with Ryan for one week and he got me a job on Fear of Darkness. So wow, that's very cool. Very good agent. Very good actress. <laughs> now, mate, uh, how long have you been established here on the Gold Coast? Uh, for eight years now. Wow. Yeah, so we've been eight years in the Gold Coast. Uh, we're in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, uh, Brisbane as well. And, um, yeah, doing some international projects as well. So it's all very exciting. So it's great to be based here on the Gold Coast um, and sort of bring the work back here. And, you know, we've got a great... Great talent here. We've got great people, personalities, and things striving to do great things. So, yeah, it's really fantastic to be a part of here tonight. It's Mate, that sounds good. Now, as far as uh, talent in acting and that, do you go behind the scenes and promote movies as well overseas and get, uh, distribute them? Uh, well, actually, I produce some movies too. So we're heading over to Cannes for uh, MIPCOM, which okay. is the big international TV convention. It's like Cannes for, for film. Um, so we're heading over there with a few projects and some that our talent are in as well. So um, yeah, we're there for a few weeks and championing those films and, and Australian production. So hopefully it all goes well. Very excited about it. Now we've got uh, Thor coming up pretty soon, Mr. Hemsworth. Now are we looking at uh, a lot of Australian actors participating in the movie? Look, I hope so. I mean, it's shot here. Um, I know there's a lot of people growing their hair and beard to be some kind of Nordic warrior. Um, <laughs> just like pirates. That's just like pirates. But I mean, it's, it's one of those movies, it is a Hollywood movie, mm. so you know, they've got established stars and people that are already attached to it. Yep. Uh, long before it even comes, they decide whether they want to shoot here in Australia. Um, so, but hopefully, hopefully we'll be seeing some good casting briefs here and uh, a lot of work for Australians. And it's definitely a lot of work for Australian crew. Um, and, and all the people associated with promoting the movie and, and making everything happen, you know, so I think that's great that we can be a part of it. Sounds good, mate. I know it's a busy night for you guys. I'll let you walk the rest of the red carpet. It's Thank a you. pleasure Thank meeting you. you. Good it's luck out nice. there in the world and Thank catch you later, you. yeah. Woo. Okay. Hey guys, we're here with Rosa. Rosa, how are you? Maybe I should start from like that. <laughs> yeah, better. Red, <laughs> red is really... Better nice. than my face. <laughs> Now you are the big boss in America? Yes, and uh, not important I am big boss, but thank you for tonight. Amazing. I feel I am in Hollywood or Los Angeles. Everything lovely. How you make all these gorgeous things. And then uh, I am pleased to be here. That's great. Now Atlantic Records, just tell me a bit about Atlantic Records. Atlantic Records, there is a Two brothers start and yes. they father in embassy, ambassador in New York. Yeah. And then they stay in America after their father uh, work done, finish. Yes. And they make with small company, then they become very, uh, they also uh, have a place in Rockefeller family. Yes. Rockefeller Plaza. Okay. And then they make all this uh, music uh, star. Have we got any big music names? Of course, yes. all of them. I cannot even <laughs> think about now. Yeah. But Just one? Rolling Stones. Wow, that's, one of the that's best. going off, eh? He was, yes, he was crying by, when my uncle died. 
Wow. And also Pamela Anderson uh, boyfriend. Yes. Ah. He is also yeah, still. crying Yeah, Wow, big much. names. Good stuff and uh, very busy. It's great to have you here in Australia. Thank you so much. I have you, hope you have a great Thank night you. here tonight. We wait you yeah. over there. Woo. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're back and we've got a team of really good looking people here. Rebecca, how are you? Great, thank you. How are you? Good. Now, you have got a modelling talent agent. Correct, yes. We have a modelling talent agency, Justin and myself, we're co directors, and we represent Australia wide. Wow. Now, before we go any further, can we just get our models to introduce themselves too? Yeah. Simon McIntyre. Justin Q. Oh, and Michael Fitzgibbon. Cool. Now, mate, uh, working on the project here, you're on the Gold Coast with your agency? Yes, we are, but we represent Talent Australia wide, but we are based in Melbourne. In Melbourne, yeah, cool. all the way. Wow. Now, um, back in your younger days, I mean, which is like about a year ago, <laughs> as you were modelling, how, how did you progress up to doing a big agency yourself? Yeah, well, I guess been in the industry from a young age, doing dancing, singing, acting, modelling. Um, been through a lot of agencies and we really wanted to bring out our own fresh new sort of take on the industry. So that's what we did. Wow. Now, Melbourne, good place to start? Yeah, definitely. It's been great. And um, yeah, can't wait to create more opportunities, more than we did last year. And it's going to be very exciting. Do you miss dance? I do, but I still get to do it, so it's great. <laughs> Tony Bartuccio Studios? No, Patrick Studios. In oh, Australia. that's where I trained down there, Tony Bartuccio. Oh, okay, great. Yes, yeah. yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Let's venture over to our man over here, mate. Now, background, dancing as well? Yeah, I'm a dancer, but primarily singer. Singer, wow. Sounds good, mate. Uh, any big records out at the moment? No, not as yet. Maybe some to come in the future. So it must be pretty time consuming having your agency now, so uh, you focus on that most of the time? Yeah, definitely. We try to fit in um, everything that we can, but mainly my priority is the agency at the moment. <laughs> cool. Now, what's the agency called, just in case someone out there wants to come and see you and become a big star like you? Absolutely. It's JNR Management. Sounds good. Well, listen, guys, you have a great time. Don't forget, of course, the after party going off here tonight. I'm Pete the Surferu, guys. You have a great time. Yeah. <laughs>